you know where all the plastic recycling bottles are? They seem to have disappeared. Sorry, Mum. Gotta go. Well, actually... Ow! Peter's gotta go too. Now, you haven't forgotten that we're going out for our anniversary meal tonight, have you? Oh, this is heavy, Peter. Whatever have you got in here? We don't want to run late. Oh, uh, bye, boys. Smelling like a baboon's bedsock? Then help is at hand with Henry and Peter's perfect perfume. But what am I some perfume? Uh, I don't know. I thought you said you'd be careful. I am being careful. You know it makes sense. <laughs> Who in their right mind is going to buy perfume from you? Uh, hello, Miss Oddbod. <gasps> oh, no, Miss Oddbod. What are you doing, Henry? He's selling perfume, Miss, here, in the playground. Oh, I see. And what is this perfume called, Henry? Perfect perfume, Miss. I'm, um, selling it to raise money for needy children. Would you like to buy some? Ooh, powerful yet understated. I'll take some. What? And as it's for charity, you keep the change. La, I want a bottle. I want two. Coming right up. You smelt the rest. Now smell your best. One at a time now, girls. Here you go, Margaret. You could do with it. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle a tiger than give you money, Henry. Yeah. One, please. I said we'd be rich. <laughs> Quite the little entrepreneurs, aren't we? I'll have that. And in return, you shall both have detention after school. Oh, please. No, we can't be late. My mum and dad are going out for their anniversary dinner. Oh, dear. Double detention. Perfume, please. And try this one. It's our anniversary present to you. Oh, 
thank you, boys. How thoughtful. Hmm, it's very nice. It smells like autumn leaves. Let's hope they don't fall off the trees, eh? I'll wear this tonight. What are you looking at? Oh, um, just your beautiful hair. Yes, your beautiful hairy hair. My hair? <sighs> Has anyone seen my aftershave? Mm, that smells good. I'll try some of that. They go to bed on time. <laughs> Henry! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Oh, I could see stew. Lots of it. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could even eat stew today. What's a pudding, Graham? More stew. 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 Oh, Graham. all right then. We'll go to lunch. But you're in charge while we're gone. Um. Any reason why not? I don't know. Exactly. It's just till we get back. And remember, don't let anyone on the climbing frame while we're gone, especially girls. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's lunchtime, Bert. Aren't you going to have any lunch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Come on, we've got to hurry. Hey, Bert, enjoy the stew. Hang on a minute. If Bert's going to lunch, then who's guarding the climbing frame? I don't know. <laughs> This time, it's personal. This is just a small setback, leader of the Purple Hand Gang. Look! The climbing frame is here. The girls have viewpoints from here, here and here. But there's a small gap here, which leaves them vulnerable to attack. Then let's do it. You are a little boy. <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> the Stinkinator Five Thousand, a mix of skunk, cowpat, and sweaty socks. If this doesn't shift them, nothing will. I love the smell of stink bombs in the playground. <laughs> Don't you just love the smell of perfume in the playground, Henry? Yeah, Henry. <coughs> I'll get you off our climbing frame if it's the last thing I do, you Just for us. Yeah, just for us. 
give up, Henry? Never! Then come and see what Brian's got in store for the enemy next, Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang! Your beatbox? What are you going to do? Dance with them? Um, I've made just a few adjustments. 1,000 gigawatts of power, super subwoofer, bone-crushing bass and a treble range that only animals can hear. This is no ordinary beatbox. This is the 500 decibel sonic defence system. The Desi Sonic what? It goes all the way up to 11. Listen to this. This is brilliant! What? This is brilliant! I can't hear you! You two are here because you've been arguing again. Yes, Miss Oddbod. And let me guess what you have been arguing about. Could it possibly have been who gets to go on the climbing frame? Yes, Miss Oddbod. Into my office. Now. She started it. It was all his fault. It's our climbing frame. No, it's not. It's ours. His own is. Be quiet! I shall decide who gets to go on the climbing frame and when. Huh? The rotor will go like this. Rotor? What rotor? This rotor. The girls will have Mondays and Wednesdays. Yay! And the boys will have Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> Way to go! Wait a minute. Fridays. <gasps> Today's Friday. No! Oh, I haven't got time for that now. You can carry on outside. There's always the weekend. No! It's so easy. you bring it up? Oh, it's just no fun being good. Ah! <laughs> Henry, answer the door, please. Hello, Sonny. Mum or Dad at home? Mum is, but she's sick. Left me to clean up. Ooh. I'll call her if you want. Oh, no, 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 don't bother her. Uh, just pass on a message. We're making some repairs and we've got to turn the water off for a couple of hours. Stop it, Fluffy. That's Peter's. We'll let you know when we've finished. Henry! Oh, coming! <laughs> Fluffy, that's only for sick people. Who was at the door? A man. They're turning the water off. Oh, no. Not today. Oh, I'd forgotten all about it. Henry, listen. You need to fill the bath, then fill saucepans, um, water jugs and uh, everything else you can find. And hurry! And take Peter his ice cream.
first. Now I can play on the computer. Oh, can things get any worse? Henry, be a good boy and get me an extra blanket. And a hot water bottle. I'm cold. A magazine. My book. Some cough medicine. Some tissues. Henry, get that, will you? <laughs> Henry! Henry! Please answer the door! Walter's coming back on. Make sure your taps are all turned off. Oh, great! Someone else telling me what to do. What? Anything else you want? Hot water bottle? Nice fluffy blanket? Um, no thanks. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day? Oh, yeah! I'll put it on the list. Hey! Hear that? Silence. No one's yelling at me to do something. At last! Whoa! Oh, Henry, I feel absolutely awful. I'm going to bed. Yeah, well, well Mum's sick too, and I had to get her juice, and Peter wanted ice cream, and, and Miss Ombob phoned, and the waterman came, and I had to fill everything, and then... turned off the taps and, and now I'm soaked and cold and... Uh, uh, so! And now I'm really sick and that's not fair! I want to go to school! It's so easy being me, I'm hard and Torch, scissors, notepad and pen, check. Boot polish, lucky rotten duck egg. Fake dog poo. Check. I'm going to get you back, Mr. Kill. And then I'll get whoever took you. <laughs> Detective Henry always gets his man. This smells like an inside job. Dodgy Dad. But why? Henry! Henry! Ta-da! Henry! Oh! oh, you really are horrid, Henry! Yeah, Dad. You can run, but you can't hide. 35 p.m. Suspect cooking healthy food in kitchen. <gasps> no! Don't cook Mr. Kill! Uh, what? You took Mr. Kill while I was at school! And now you want us to eat him! Don't be horrid, Henry. Look, it's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr. Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr. Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr. Kill, where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, then you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to me, Dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! It's so 
I'm home.